Now, Russians didn't come up with the idea of public baths, the Romans did that, but Russians did take the bathing ritual to a whole new level. Today, we're here in St. Petersburg at the old Cossack baths. They were built in 1879, and since then have seen customers ranging from regular people like you and me to the infamous mystic Grigory Rasputin and even Vladimir Lenin himself. The Cossacks were like the special forces protecting the Tsar. They live nearby and they bathe here. Now the bathing ritual itself is not for the faint of heart. You start in a scalding hot room of 200 degrees, then you get beaten by oak and birch branches, and then, just when you can't take it anymore, you plunge into ice cold water. Why? Let's ask the experts. Здравствуйте. Привет. Николай, скажите, ну вот зачем все это? Как зачем? Для здоровья. Хорошо для сердца, хорошо для души, тренировка сосудов, очистка, здоровье. Что еще надо? Сергей, вот прям вот этим бить будете? Прямо вот этим, прямо будем бить. Страшно. Ничего страшного, пошли. There is an exact science to Russian baths. First you gather the steam from above and gently guide it to the skin to open up the pores. Then the branches hit harder to get the blood flow going. The fragrance of the pillow made of fresh birch leaves, the rhythm of the branches, and the prickling massage with juniper needles to stimulate the senses and the lymphatic flow. That was hot, but incredibly pleasant, actually, and surprisingly relaxing. You know, the aromas of the, of the branches and the way he hits you, just when he gets into the rhythm, it's, it's almost like hypnotic. And now for the cold plunge. It's cold, but amazing. That's the Cossack bass for you. I'm Sergey Gordiev for National Geographic.